Eric, how are you doing progressing the practice? One scrimmage down, another scrimmage coming up. How do you feel like your unit at linebacker uh, is doing so far, so far at your fall camp? Um, I feel like we're doing really good. Um, <clears throat> just, you know, adapting to the uh, scheme and, you know, being able to make checks and do the ins and out of all our plays and our calls, I feel like we're doing a good job. Eric, does the defense feel more comfortable, you know, now that you're a couple weeks in the preseason? I know we talked to some guys last week who said communication. You know, was there a little bit in the spring, but maybe it wasn't where it should be, and that's gotten a lot better? Would you kind of comment on that and how, how comfortable you guys are feeling? Yeah, of course, you know, whenever you're doing something new, it's always kind of hard to grasp in the beginning. But um, with time, it takes practice. Um, we've been working on it all summer, you know, in fall camp. So it's coming a lot more, you know, it's getting a lot more you know, translucent to guys. Everybody's kind of understanding more. Eric, based on what happened last year, do you guys, does this defense come with a, a chip on his shoulder because of, you know, how kind of many things ended with the season last year? Yeah, I always. You know, we, we play at UCL, so I kind of feel like that chip will never go nowhere. At this point in camp, what else do you feel you need to prove going forward? Um, just to be consistent. Um, you know, we, we put for put forth a, a good scrimmage one, um, but, but that doesn't matter no more. Now it's scrimmage two, so we got to go out there and put that same effort we did in his first scrimmage and second. We obviously just spoke with Travis Williams. How do you like, he's not only your defensive coordinator, but your position uh, coach. How do you like working with him so far? Um, it's been great. Um, getting to know him when he first came in um, to now, um, just, you know, being able to have a coach, you know, you can go and talk to, be comfortable with, and you know, be more than a coach on the field, you know, how that relationship off the field. So it's been great. To piggyback off of that, how much looser do you feel and how much freer does it feel to be able to, when you get out on the field and start integrating with your teammates and going through the schemes? Um, it, it feels good. Um, it, it is, it's nothing like knowing what you have to do when you're on the field. You know, it's one thing to go out there and do the good thing, but if you know what to do and you still can do it, it's nothing that beats that feeling. So it feels good. Eric, uh, obviously you've been around a few years, you know, some of your teammates have been, you know, you guys have already played a lot. Who are some, some newcomers or some new guys, maybe freshmen, maybe guys who haven't played in the past that you think, you know, maybe have looked good in camp and you're kind of anxious to see how they do this season? Um, we got a lot of them. You got uh, Bryson who just came over, Ricky, um, Big Cat, uh, Marco, you know, a lot of different guys who just came in who are going to help us a lot. We just asked uh, Travis about, you know, the versatility of, of the defense. What have you seen from that, from maybe guys being able to play a couple different positions in this defense? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of different guys who are, you know, very dynamic in their skill set, so that allows them to do a lot of different things on the field. Um, you might see them one, one drive lined up one place, and then the next drive, they'll be a whole different place. So it, it kind of makes it hard for offenses to kind of pinpoint what we're doing and kind of make us a lot more versatile and defense, make us a lot better. What kind of leader are you? What kind of leadership do you provide? Um, I like to lead by example. Um, I'm not too much of a talker. I feel like I'm a silent guy, but I carry a big stick. So it's just, you know, being being able to do the right thing so people can follow behind you. That's the type of guy I am. What's the biggest difference between this defense now and, and the defense you guys played last year? Um, I would say the biggest difference would just be the coach. <laughs> that's, that's the other difference. Um, we understand the scheme, and, you know, we're we going to go out there and get after it, but the biggest difference is the coach. <laughs> Eric, what are you seeing from the D line in front of you, and how maybe are they helping you guys as linebackers? Uh, those guys are doing a great job, um, just you know, causing havoc. Um, we have a lot of plays where we go over and film that we call two first, and guys just taking up two guys. They have to double team them. So when you got that, that's a linebacker's dream, and you know you can't be help but be thankful for stuff like that. Eric, how difficult was last season with the COVID situation and and. and not being able to have you know spring well, spring ball, not being able to get together in the summer. How hard was that really for you guys to kind of go into the season that way? Um, it was very tough because it kind of messes up traditionally how you go about getting ready for the season. You know, we only had probably about three or four practices in the spring, and you know we had to go home and stay home for a while. And then even coming back, you know, a lot of the rules were different. You know, guys were missing, and it was just so many different things that kind of got me screwed in that time. So it was very difficult. I feel now things are kind of getting back to normal, what we're used to. So I feel like that would be a great help to us. Eric, I know a lot of people are anxious to see, like you said earlier, Big Cat Brian, what he can bring to the D-line. What's kind of you've been about your evaluation of what he's been able to do in the early going? Um, he's, a, he's a very good player, um, you know, very dynamic. Uh, came from a good school. He has a good skill set. So he's going to help us a lot.
One last thing, um, you kind of talked about defense having a chip on your shoulder. I know we talked to a lot of guys last week, week before, Al, you know, you guys mentioned that number 123 defense, you know, so you seem to, to know where things were last year. What, do you, what will we see, you know, when the season starts? What, what are your expectations for the UCF defense? Um, it, it's going to be lights out. Um, you know, we, we're not much into the, the talking business. We can't, you can't go out there and talk again. You got to go out there and play it. So, you know, we're going to keep getting prepared and hopefully, we'll, well, no, not hopefully, it will be. When we go out there against Boise State, we're going to show everybody what we're doing. Thanks, Eric. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Eric.